In this lecture, we are going to understand how to soft delete a record in a table. Soft delete simply means that we do not actually delete the record from the table. Instead, we use a flag in the table to specify that the row is deleted. It's not the actual delete, it is just flagged as deleted. So let's try to understand soft delete with hashtag entity. So for that, what I'm going to do here is on this hashtag entity, I'm going to add another property called deleted at. And this is going to be of type date. And I'm going to decorate this deleted at with delete date column. Okay, so first of all, we need to import this delete date column from type ORM. And as we have learned before, this delete date column, what it does is it sets this deleted at property with the date and time when the record was deleted, basically when the record was soft deleted. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to PG admin and there Let's go to hashtag table. Let me refresh this hashtag table first. And when I rerun this query, you will see that now we also have this deleted at property, which is currently set with the value null. Now, when this deleted at property will have some date and time, that means this record is soft deleted. The record will be available in the table but since it has a value for this deleted at field, that means that record is soft deleted. Let's see that in action. And for that, what we are going to do is, let's go to hashtag service, and there we can modify this delete hashtag. If you want, you can create another method for soft delete, but here, let's say my requirement is, no hashtag should be deleted permanently all the hashtags should always be soft deleted. So in that case, I can modify this delete hashtag method to soft delete the hashtag rows instead of permanently deleting it from the table. But here, let me do one thing. Let me actually create another method so that I can keep this delete hashtag method for your reference. And here, I'm going to call this method as soft delete hashtag. Okay, here also we are going to get the ID, which is going to be of type number. And here, in order to soft delete, instead of calling the delete method on the hashtag repository, we are going to call soft delete method. Rest other things will be same. Okay, so when you want to permanently delete a record from the table, you call the delete method. But when you want to soft delete a table, you call this soft delete method. And what this soft delete method does is it simply assigns a value to a property which is decorated with delete date column. So that property will be assigned with the date time value. And that is a flag which specifies that that particular record has been soft deleted. I hope you got the point. So this is the change which we need to do in our service class. Let's go to hashtag controller and there also let me copy this method and let's paste it here. Here also we are going to make a delete request and I'm going to call it as soft delete hashtag. Again, you can name it anything. So again, here also the signature will be same. We are going to get the ID from the route parameter which we want to soft delete and here instead of calling delete hashtag, we are going to call soft delete hashtag. Okay. And rest other things will be same. Let's save the changes. Now here we have one problem. And the problem is when we are going to make a delete request to this endpoint, which delete method should be called in this case? Because both of these delete endpoints have the same signature root url slash id we are going to get the id as the route parameter so nest.js will be confused which delete endpoint should be executed from here so what we are going to do is here we are going to specify another section in this route and here we will simply call it as soft delete or maybe soft hyphen delete slash and the id 
okay with this let's save the changes let's go back to the postman and let's try it out so in order to call the soft delete after the hashtag endpoint we are going to specify soft hyphen delete and then we will specify the id of the hashtag which we want to delete currently if i go to the hashtag table there we have only one hashtag with id one so let's say i want to delete this hashtag and for that i'm going to specify its id which is one now let me go ahead and let me send a request here a delete request you will see that we have received the response where the deleted is true and id is one let's go back to pg admin and let's verify whether this record has been deleted or not and remember that this time this record should be soft deleted that means instead of actually deleting this record from the table this deleted at field should be assigned with the date and time when that delete request was made so if i execute this query you will see that now the deleted at property has a date time value that means this record is soft deleted here if i go to the tweet table we should not have any changes here we should still have the tweet with id4 and if i go to the hashtag table and there if i rerun the query you will see that there we also have the relation between the tweet and the soft deleted hashtag so this relation is also not deleted it will only get deleted whenever we are going to permanently delete a record from the hashtag table so that record is also present here but here we have soft deleted this nest.js hashtag now what we have to do is whenever we are going to fetch all the hashtags in the ui or from somewhere else first we need to check if that hashtags deleted at field has some value or it is null if the deleted at field has some value that means that hashtag is soft deleted so we might not want to show it in the response so first we have to check whether this deleted at field is null or not if it is null then only we are going to send that hashtag in the response or we should be able to use that hashtag anywhere in our code if its deleted at property has a date time value that means that hashtag is soft deleted so we should not be able to use it or see it i hope you got the point so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it and this is all about type orm and the relationship between the entities using type orm we are going to create more entities and the relation between entities in our coming lectures but the basic concepts which you need to know about the entities and the relations and the type orm we have already covered in this section in our coming sections we are going to talk about authentication and authorization and many other advanced concepts but this is all you need to know about the type orm the entities and the relation between entities this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day